The new stable 0123 from Stability AI allows the creation of 3D models from a single photograph. That's the zero shot ability. Now this new model, stable 0123, is demonstrated here, or at least one of the possible uses uh, is demonstrated here. We've got a funky pirate and we've got a sinister parrot in the background. And whilst this kind of result takes quite a lot of computing power, I'll demonstrate a little bit later how you can use the model to create images. Well, parts of 3D images inside of Comfy UI. Now the model was released very recently and it's used for creating 3D models from a single picture and stable stability AI say that this is a better technique than some of the previous ones out there. Now the model is in research preview so no commercial use but we'll see exactly what it's capable of doing and maybe gain an insight into what Stability AI are trying to achieve with all of this. Now, the technique used to create this is called SDS. And if you're wondering what SDS is, it's a technique which is shown here. It's basically a technique for taking images and it's called score distillation sampling. And it takes a single image and then it's used to create a 3D model from that single image. Now the technique is, is described in this page here, which I will link to if you are more interested in the kind of technical aspects of things. However, we also saw some idea of what Stability AI are trying to achieve with this kind of technology. And this comes with the Stability AI previews, which are basically designed for businesses. Now there's a Sky Replacer, which uh, has been introduced but the other thing they introduced was this 3d model creation and this is something which is currently in private preview so you have to ask stability ai for information about that if you want to get involved in this this is obviously something that involves quite a lot of powerful hardware and the idea is that perhaps you can create 3d models using this technique and then take those models and refine them and perhaps use them in gaming where it does take quite a bit of time to create original models by traditional techniques. Now the model that Stability AI produced, Stable 0123, is available at Hugging Face. And there's a brief description here of how it all works. And th th there is a suggestion that you can use it with software from a... Well, it's over on GitHub, and I think the best way of understanding it is to take a look at it. Here we are at 3 Studio. You can use the new model with this software. And here are some examples of things that have been created using 3 Studio. Now, the technique is one that's probably going to take a very powerful graphics card for training because essentially you're creating a 3D model and probably you would need something in the region of a 3090 and 4090, RTX 4090 upwards, or something more powerful, some of the more uh, professional oriented training GPUs. And I'll have a link to my video where we discuss some of those very powerful uh, training GPUs. However, the instructions here tell you how to get going with this. And if you want to learn more about this, I'll have a link to this page. However, we can also take a look at the technique or at least one technique for using this model inside of Comfy UI. And this is fascinating because it shows you the kind of potential that we've got with this new model. Now I've introduced an image here and we have North America and South America here. Now using this particular workflow, we can ask Stability AI to move the, this thing around in 3D space. And we can actually do that right now. Let's go ahead and run a prompt. As you can see, it creates an image which is very similar to the original image. It's more or less identical to the original image. Now, whilst it looks okay and it's very fast, it works about the same speed as Stable Diffusion 1.5, there are some limitations. But let's take a look first of all at how it actually works. So if we come here and take a look at the new custom node, it has a width and a height, batch size, elevation and azimuth. 
and the width and the height are basically about half the size of the images that I'm putting in here, about 512 by 512. And we can go around and change the azimuth. Let's change the elevation first. So elevation, what does that do? Let's change the elevation to 30. And then run this bad boy. Now what we'll see is that the globe is going to change. And what's happening here is that Stable Diffusion is kind of figuring out what the globe is going to look like if we change the elevation by 30 degrees and uh, we can actually go and change the azimuth as well and see what that does. Now if we run this guy here we should get a rotation happening. You can see it's rotating and bringing us more into line with the European continent. We can see Africa there and maybe we can take this back down to zero and uh, increase this maybe to about 60. So we're going to go with the way that the Earth turns in any case. And this model has got a good enough understanding of how the Earth actually is structured that as you rotate it, it tries to bring in parts of the globe that uh, would be coming into view. So you can see here, it's kind of missed out Africa, but we have got Australia and Asia. So you can see this is a very smart model, which you can use with different images. Maybe we'll try a couple more images. So we've got a funky looking egg. Let's see what that does when we rotate it. And it should look more or less the same. Unfortunately, it hasn't quite worked on this occasion. Let's see if we can lower this and get a result. So sometimes it does kind of break down like that. But this is what is happening here. We are testing this stuff. It is a research preview. Let's change the azimuth. We can go into the negative direction and see what that does. Maybe that'll bring things back into line. Now with the letter three, a kind of a fluffy three, we get something interesting here. Uh, it's got this uh, kind of fluffy feel, but it's so, sort of overdone it. It's a little bit cartoonish. Let's change this into the negative. So we can take this positive, we can take it negative. You can see it tries to change the way this looks according to the rotation that we've put in. Let's put this into a positive rotation. And uh, it's gotten a little bit confused there. One area where we had a lot of success so far is with this object here. This is a gun. You can see as we rotate this, it does a fairly decent job of getting different angles. Now, the fact that it's inferring how the gun is going to look from different uh, di different angles, I find this really powerful. And obviously, the way it's been trained, the more familiar the object, the better it's going to be at uh, actually figuring out how the object is going to look. We can change this to, let's say, minus 30 and see what that looks like. Mm, interesting. You can see with some objects, it really does get it. With other objects, it can be a bit of a challenge. But this is something which is now available. Like I say, it is available for research. Uh, it's not something we're going to be using commercially yet. But you can get an idea of what Stability AI may be working to or working towards in future with this new technology. And I will make one sort of criticism of the way that it functions uh, in, in, in this software in Comfy UI. It creates an image that doesn't have a transparent background, which is, you know, obviously when we come to working with video, which I think probably is the long term goal here you obviously want to have a little bit of transfer transparency maintained inside the image. But I think this is fun to try out and get a bunch of images and see how it actually works. You got to make sure the images are PNGs with a uh, with a background which is transparent. Otherwise, it really doesn't produce decent results. But hopefully that has been very useful for you. If you want to learn a little bit more about the new video, the new video model from Stable Diffusion, I'll have a link to that video to the video discussing the video model in the description and maybe you can kind of get a clearer image of how a s a stability AI is uh, trying to move in, in, in this direction of video and 3D. Last year, Stable Diffusion took the world by storm. And this year, Comfy UI provides a powerful way of controlling Stable Diffusion. 
If you've come to wonder how machine learning works, how it's possible to create an image from just words, if you would like to unlock the power of stable diffusion with this comprehensive course, if you want to learn the techniques and strategies used by top professionals to master this powerful tool, with my expert guidance, you'll gain the knowledge and the confidence to take your skills to the next level. And I think we're going to have a little bit of fun and entertainment along the way. So yeah, don't miss this opportunity to transform your career and achieve your goals or just to satisfy that curiosity about what this machine learning and AI is all about. Enroll now and start your journey to success. See you soon.